Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be showing you my skincare routine. I'm not perfect, it's not amazing, it's not probably the best skin routine out there, but it's what I have found that works for my skin. Now obviously you can take what you want from this and go and look into it yourself and see if these products really work for you. I've tried these for at least two months at this point, or almost at two months, and it's worked amazing with my skin and I'm so happy with it. I have a few blemishes at the moment, but I am believe I'm coming up to that time of the month so that's probably what it is. I just want to put a disclaimer out there I'm not a dermatologist I'm not like a beautician I have done a course for it but that was literally like seven years ago and I didn't follow up with it like I didn't continue to do anything about it I like to think I know a little bit about skin and what can help so if you have any questions let me know and I'd do my best to answer them for you but here right now is what is working for my skin Nothing to say I'm not going to change it up in the future. I'm already looking at products to amp up and kind of simplify my routine so it's not eight serums that I have to use in a day. I've just trialed all these and I really do love them. It really has helped the texture, evenness, and blemishes that are on my skin and it actually has helped a lot. But I am looking to simplify it in the long run. So I'm going to take you through what I use in the morning and to what I use at night and the reasons why I use certain things on certain nights and what it all can do for your skin. First up, I'm going to go in with my cleanser. This cleanser is hands down the best cleanser I have used in a very, very long time. I've gone through so many different cleansers for so many years because I haven't been able to find anything that I actually really enjoy and really like. But this is just hands down the best cleanser. I, that's all I can say. It's just the best cleanser. It's the Antipodes Juliet Skin Brightening Cleanser. Um, I've been using this for I think about almost a year now at this point. I have three running. Like I have three going. That's how much I enjoy this. I have one in the shower, I have one in the bathroom, and I have one as backup. This is how much I like this, and if it's on sale, I'll probably buy two, just so I have it. This is good for pretty much all skin types. I have oily skin, oily combination, kind of a little bit of acne prone, congestion in the, no in the nose and the chin area from blackheads. Um, and I found this is probably one of the best products that has actually helped me. Um, let me just read the back of it. It's a gentle coconut oil base formulated to help reduce excess oils for the skin's surface, which is 100% what it's done for me. Like I said, oily skin. I find if I use this in the morning, I won't get oily during the day. Normally, it will be to the point where I have a slick across my face or my glasses are falling down. But since using this, my oil has come into check a lot better. So this is hands down one of the best cleansers and I think I'm going to be using it for a very long time. The next product, this is a Bioderma Toner. This is the Sebum Lotion. It's a rebalancing water, oil and pH care. It's for combination to oily skin. It tightens pores and it's anti-blemish. The reason why I got this is I was having facials done last year. I was always really concerned about my blackheads and my nose and my chin because that's where I get my most sleep on my blackheads. This was like my biggest concern. I was going to have like I have a lot of blackheads. It's coming out of my pores. I scrub all the time and it's just not doing anything. And she said to me, look, it might not even be the blackheads poking out. It might be sebum getting out of your skin. And I didn't know about that. I didn't know that could have been a side effect or it could have been overproducing the oils in my skin and then that's what's pushed it out. So she said, try some toners, try something that helps eliminate or reduce the sebum on your skin, which is what I did. I saw this, um, I think earlier this year is when I got it and it has made a big, big difference to my skin. Um, I don't use that much. I've, this is the only bottle I've had. I literally just like dunk it in my hand, like a couple shakes and then I just rub it all over my face. And I would say this is also another reason why I don't have that many oils on my skin anymore. Honestly, I do not scrub my face. I would be scrubbing my face literally every single night, like really rough before I did my makeup and it was probably doing a lot more damage to my skin than what I thought it was. Scrubs can create micro tears in your skin and then ages your skin more. So this has really helped and I probably scrub my skin once a week, if that. Sometimes I go weeks without scrubbing my skin. If I'm wearing makeup, I will just do a light exfoliation before I go in with my makeup, but I also have serums and acids and things like that that also exfoliate my skin. But I will use this morning and night. Now, for my three serums in the morning, I use three. Um, I am looking to change that, but for right now, these are really good. Um, I have the hyaluronic acid, the niacinamide, and a vitamin C from The Ordinary. All my products and serum-wise are from The Ordinary. I just find they're the best. They're affordable. Honestly, they have cleared up my skin. I will put a photo up of 
the four week process, where it came from to where it is now. All right, so this is the Ordinary Hyaluronic Acid 2% Plus B5. This is what I use every single morning without fail. I won't not use this. It's an instant hydration for the skin, which is what I need as an oily skin person. My skin's dehydrated and that's what is overproducing the oils. That's how I see it and that's how I think about it. If I'm wrong, please let me know. But that's just kind of mentally what I think. If my skin's dehydrated, it's gonna produce more oils and then it's going it's just going to be a never-ending cycle. So I love that this is an instant hydrator. It's suitable for all skin types, obviously, including oily skin. Enriched with vitamin B to boost surface hydration. This is just an all-in-all -all hydration, like a little hit in a bottle. I will use one like a little dropper on my hands all over. I don't know what I'd do without this, and I believe this is really helpful. Right, so the next product I like to use in the morning is the Ordinary Niacinamide 10% plus Zinc 1%. This is formulated for blemishes and to target those problematic areas. High strength serum for skincare congestion. Now, like I said, I have a lot of congestion in my nose and my chin. Sometimes it even hits back here when I have my periods and this has really helped. Now, I also can say that skin needling has definitely helped with that as well. I was getting skin needling done in the treatments I was doing last year, but I stopped that. I think I only got three sessions, which I want to do more of, but I think this has really helped with the congestion back there. It helps with balancing sebum levels. This is another great thing if you have that problem. you What your sebum will feel like, it will honestly feel like your skin's really, really rough on your chin. And that's what I thought was my blackheads, but really it was just sebum leaking out of my skin. Ooh, this is interesting. The niacinamide, otherwise known as a vitamin B3 and zinc, a naturally occurring substance in the skin. These ingredients are useful for, in skincare routine to decongest skin, balance sebum levels, the combination of between these two potent ingredients helps the battle of blemishes, reducing bacteria in your skin, regulates oil production, and minimizes the appearance of pores. All that, I believe, except that minimizes the appearance of pores. I don't think you can minimize pores, which is just a very unfortunate thing. Um, I think what happens, you either have large pores or you don't. Some people are blessed with not having pores. Other people, like myself, have pores. I think skin needling would help in those areas, not to the extent where you're not going to have pores but it will help with the point where it will help kind of rejuvenate the skin and rebuild it, if that makes sense. I don't think this little serum here is gonna exactly help that, but there are things that can help it. it. Next I have is a vitamin C. This should be a staple in everyone's skincare routine, hands down, no questions asked. This isn't my favorite. I've used other ones that I like more. I have other ones that I'm going to use, but at the end of the day, this has helped brighten my skin and I'm not gonna be able to say anything different. It's helped, it's not my favorite, but as of right now, I like to use it in my skincare routine. The next thing I'm gonna go in with is my moisturizer. Um, this is a very important step. Like I said, you need to keep your skin hydrated, even if it's oily, even if you have very, very oily skin, your skin needs to be hydrated. It's just one of the biggest things. If you're stripping your skin of all the moisture that's in it, it's gonna overproduce oil because it thinks it can't get it, and that's just kind of what the body does. So make sure you have a good moisturizer at hand. Always, always, hands down, you need a good moisturizer. This is called the Hempature Hemp Infused Moisturizer. It's got amazing ingredients in it. Water, aloe, um, cannabis oil, um, has a bit of alcohol in it, has sweet almond oil, shea butter, and coconut oil, and just jojoba oil. All those amazing ingredients you want to have in a moisturizer. I don't use a lot of it in the morning. I don't use a lot of it in the day because I'm putting so much acids and so many serums and and hyaluronic acids in my, on my skin, I feel like I have enough hydration to not put a lot. I literally put like a dollop, like a dollop on my hand and go in. I use it on my face and my neck. It's obviously neck and my decolletage because you got to keep that also very hydrated and looking young. So this is probably hands down my best moisturizer that I've used because it doesn't make me oily. I had that little sheen and little slick, but it absorbs really nice into the skin. Final product I'll use and hands down the most important the most important product is sunscreen. Now, I've only recently just started using it. Pretty much, I was influenced by Hailey Bieber. What can I say? She's amazing. Her skin's absolutely perfect. So I picked up, it's the Ulta MD Skincare UV Clear Broad Spectrum SPF 46. What I like about this is that it's skincare in a sunscreen. It calms and protects acne-prone skin. It's highly potent niacinamide translucent zinc, UVA and UVB protection facial sunscreen. Skincare types prone to acne, rosacea, and hyperpigmentation. 
hyperpigmentation, if you will. I like that it's sunscreen and sun care together, so it's still acting on my skin even though I'm not doing anything to my face. Now, obviously I use niacinamide in the morning as well, but to be honest, this could be like my little breakout tea, could be prone to using this because I did only just get it and it could just be purging. Skin always purges when you try new stuff. It's just bound to happen because your skin's overacting with all the new things. It's like, oh my God, this is new. I don't know what it is. And I'll just purge everything. So it could be that, but I really don't know. Like I said, it could be because I'm coming up to my periods. But I use this every morning. It's tinted. Um, so I would honestly wear this and like concealer and nothing else and then go out for the day and then feel confident that my skin's doing the best. So hands down, you need to use this in the morning. Eyelids, ears, neck, chest everywhere i use about two pumps um and it absorbs into the skin really nicely i know that i have sunscreen on my skin i feel it but it's not overly annoying all i use in the morning before i even walk out the door before i put makeup on everything night is where it kind of i mix a lot of things and get things amped up because at night is the best time to take care of your skin with acids peels and certain things like that because you're not being subjected to sun it's it's perfect so i go in as always with my cleanser and my toner that i showed you always double cleanse because of all the pollution and all obviously the sunscreen that i have on my face still to get that off always double cleanse at night these are the three acids that i rotate between these acids can't be used in conjunction with each other or it can't be used in conjunction with my hyaluronic acid or my niacinamide which is why i use those in the morning and these at night so the two that i have here that i rotate between actually let me talk about the peel first so this is the ordinary aha 30 percent plus bha 2 percent peeling solution let me just read what this says it's an exfoliating peel it's treating the top layer of skin exfoliates for a brighter and clearer complexion fighting visible blemishes continue to use weekly to reduce pore congestion and fine lines and brighten youthful complexion now i've been using it once a week for six or eight weeks whenever i first got all these and the congestion on my nose, the congestion on my chin, the overall just brightness of my skin. I would have so much texture back here. It would be on beyond ridiculous, like to the point where I was wearing makeup and you could see that I had so many bumps like under my skin. It has helped a lot with my skin and just the overall appearance of it. This is hands down something I'll be using for a very long time. I might even bump it up to two times a week, to be honest, because it's, it's honestly just amazing and it's helped my skin's complexion and just the texture that I had on my skin that I could see you couldn't see when not wearing makeup when I was wearing makeup I always felt really self-conscious about my skin now I love makeup so much I have for a very very long time I feel that I know so much about makeup and it always made me feel so self-conscious and so so like how can I call myself a makeup artist when makeup doesn't even look good on my skin but it wasn't the fact that I couldn't do makeup it was the fact that my skin wasn't being treated correctly for it to look good with having makeup on top of it this is the time we've been in lockdown for about nine weeks this is the time where I, I've been hard on my skin and making sure it's amazing and perfect to look good for skin I'm getting married next year so the fact that I want my skin to be perfect for that day is I'm going to try everything I possibly can and I feel like I'm definitely getting there. This is what this whole routine was designed for. So my skin looks great for when I get married next year. I'm starting now so I don't mess with anything before the day. So I'm getting my skin routine done now so I, it will last. Now yes, you're going to change up products every now and again but you find your basics and you stick with it and this peeling solution is a basic and it's what I need. It's a staple of my skincare. I love it. I would get your hands on this. Quick smart. Now these two bad boys are what I go between when I'm not using them. This is the lactic acid 10% plus HA and this is matrixyl 10% also plus HA. The reason why I go through everything is because you can't use them all in the same routine or at the same time. You wouldn't want to use a peeling solution with an exfoliating acid. You can't use that together. You wouldn't want to use a matrixyl acid with a peeling solution or with another exfoliant. Let me get the specs up on the lactic acid, which to be honest, I'm actually going to stop using because I don't see the point in using an exfoliant two times a week along with the peel. I feel like that's kind of overdoing it with the skin. The benefits of the lactic acid is a gentle exfoliated suitable for all skin types, ideal for those with normal to dry skin looking to embrace exfoliation into their routine. So obviously I have oily skin, so I don't really see, I should have looked into that more. I don't see the appeal for me, got oily skin. And if I'm using the peel once a week, I don't really see the point in me using this. What I do like about it, it helps brighten and even the skin tone and the texture. That's pretty much across all boards with all 
of my skincare, that is the aim for everything. It can help other serums penetrate into the skin, helping to get away that top layer of dead skin and penetrate harder. And the reason why I picked this is because I always just want a clearer complexion and a brighter complexion. That is my aim for absolutely everything. But I feel like that is what this is doing. And I'm gonna bump this up to using it two times a week. So I don't really need to be using this. So, but as for now, I'm going through everything and my skin looks good. So I can't really complain as much. It's working well. I use this twice a week or three times a week. So what the Matrixor 10% plus HA is benefiting for the skin. It helps the skin look smoother, softer and plumper, which is always a plus, especially I'm 25. Get to that age where things start to sag and things start to wrinkle. It diminishes the appearance of lines and wrinkles. Helps hydration boost levels. It works well for the face, neck, and around the eyes. Um, I really like this. I think it's it does what it says it's gonna do. So that's why I definitely will keep this in my skincare routine. Like I said with the, which I will be swapping out once this is actually done, but I have so much left in here. Um, I'm gonna be using the copper peptide serum from The Ordinary that has hyaluronic acid in it, that has matrixel in it, that's an overall good for the skin. So that's why I'm gonna, once I'm done with this, I'm gonna swap it all out. All of this, they all kind of work in conjunction to do the same thing for my skin, which is what I think has really helped my skin in the long. So then the last serum I use at night, the Ordinary 100% Organic Cold Press Rose Hip Seed Oil, pretty much obviously to hydrate the skin at night. Oil is great, oil is amazing. Like I keep saying, if your skin's oily, just use oil, use it. Look at the difference, use it for about a month. Your skin has a cellular turnover of, I think about 28 days. So you're not gonna know something's working for your skin unless you use it for that amount of time. Now obviously, if you add a new product to your skin and you have a rash to it, stop using it. If you have any sort of allergic reactions to it, stop using it. Um, but if you break out, like actual pimple breakout, that isn't your skin having a bad having a bad reaction to it. It's your skin going, this is something new, we need to work yeah, with kind of like the program. So obviously you pick and choose what you want to continue with. Now an oil isn't really going to break you out. Just use it for the 28 days. If you have, like I said, if you have any reactions to it, obviously stop using it. This isn't the best oil. Like I said, I'm going to move to this oil once it's done. This is the Hemp Nourishing Face and Body Oil. It's amazing. My sister-in-law is using that and she says it's really good. But I have a little bit of this left, so I'm going to continue to use this until it's done. There's not really much you can say about an oil. Let me actually read what it says about the oil for you so you can have a better idea. All right, so what the 100% organic cold pressed rosehip oil does, it's a 100% pure and organic skincare serum. That's always a plus. For the use of part anti-aging for the skincare, because obviously putting oil into your skin is gonna supple it up, make it feel all nice and juicy. Strengthen and repair photo aging skin. I don't really know what that means. Moisturizes and rehydrates dry and dehydrated skin. So like I said, I feel like I have dehydrated skin. I try to drink as much water as I possibly can, but I have a lot of coffee. Obviously the coffee isn't the best thing for my skin. Water is gonna be the most amazing thing. I try to have, try, at least have two liters of water a day. I have a big bottle. Um, I fill it up in the morning, drink it down, and I fill it up again and drink it down. Sometimes I even get through two and a half, sometimes even three. Water is the biggest thing for your skin. If you have a lot of water, your skin's gonna be plump and hydrated as well. It's gonna be that overall glow. This has been great, but I cannot wait to use this. Um, I'll link this down below. It's, it's the Hemperture Face um, Hemp Nourishing Face and Body Oil. That is my skin routine. That is a long video, but that is my skin routine. If you guys want to try any of it, I highly recommend. If you have any questions about what, um, ask me down below. I'll answer all your questions. Also, I will link down my Instagram below if you want to have a little chat with me over there about skincare, about anything makeup. 100% hit me up and I will do that. And um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.